how to get the mohair. Cut your red layer mohair cut usually feature chunky layers as well as blunt cut or side swept banks that come down to your eyebrows. Look for inspiration search online or in magazines for haircuts you like. If you find one you want to imitate, take a copy of the photo with you when you go in for your haircut. Ask for a razor trim for super sharp straight edges on the ends of your hair. Ask your stylist to use a razor comb. Thin your hair out on the bottom. Male out of emo hairstyles feature hair cuts teased and thick on top. But thin and straight on the bottom it will be easier for you to achieve this if you ask your stylist to thin out the bottom 3 or 4 inches of your hair. Keep the length conservative remember that you can always cut more hair off later but growing it back takes a while if you are not sure about what kind of length you want stay a bit longer than you think you might want you can trim it up more next time. Watch out for split ends keep your hair cut looking sharp and fresh. By staying on top of ragged ends go in for a trim every 6 to 8 weeks. Or touch it up yourself. If you raise a trim your ends at home use a straight razor and work with dry hair. Tie your hair typically emo hair colors include jet black bleached blonde or neon streaks running through dark hair look around for inspiration and settle on something you like. If this is your first time having your hair dyed it's best a visit to professional salon. If you want to dye your hair by yourself in the future pay close attention to the stylist's method and ask questions about the process. Some beauty supply shops will sell hair gel that will have different colors you can use these to experiment with different colors before committing to dye your hair. Tease the top or back of your hair is tan and emo look requires the top or back of your hair to be teased out while the bottom strands are sleek and straight tease your hair by grabbing a section that lays on top applying hairspray and using a rat tail or fine tooth comb to back comb the hair. If your hair is thin and difficult to tease by root volumizer spray the form along the root of your hair in one or two inch sections working from bottom to top mass it through the top of your hair and let it sit for a minute then try back combing as normal. Use a straightener straighten in your hair can help it look sleek and flat where you want it to. If you have thick curly hair you will need a higher quality straightener. If you have thinner hair that tends to be wavy or straight you can get away with the less expensive straightener sold at a good quality hair store. Always spray your hair with a heat protectant before you start straightening this helps minimize the damage caused by the heat. Work in small sections. If you have a lot of hair clip up the top sections so that you have a manageable amount to work with once that straightened and clip another section keep going in that way until you work through all your hair. Take care of your hair dying back combing and straighten in your hair can all be harsh on your hair. If you plan on wearing a straightened or back home style every day try to train your hair so that it only needs to be washed once or twice a week. Use the right shampoo and conditioner. If your hair is dyed purchase a shampoo and conditioner set that's specifically formulated for colored hair in general. No seek out products that don't contain S-O-D-I-U-M-L-A-U-R-E-T-H sulfate or sodium laurel sulfate. These are alcohols that make shampoo for me when you lather, but they can damage your hair.